This is SSP TV News, brought to you by Samsung Productions and the Hazelton Standard Speaker. The equipment has arrived, getting ready for the Planet Fitness craze at the Laurel Mall. Good evening and thank you for joining us at SSP TV News. I'm Lisa Sugart sitting in for Ken Cara. Here's your local information from SSP TV and the Hazelton Standard Speaker. One of the country's largest St. Patrick's Day parades has been postponed. The Scranton St. Patrick's Day Parade set for Saturday in downtown Scranton has been postponed. The news comes in light of new developments with the spread of COVID-19 virus on the East Coast. The decision was made by the St. Patrick's Parade Association of Lackawanna County. Scranton's decision follows similar announcements in Philadelphia, Boston and Ireland. According to the announcement on social media, organizers are praying the virus runs its course and when they are confident it is all clear, they will plan a new 2020 date for that parade. Thus far, parades in Wilkes-Barre and Pottsville are still a go for this weekend. Concerns over the coronavirus are impacting some colleges and universities. Penn State Hazleton and other campuses of Penn State University will hold all classes online starting Monday. University President Eric Barron announced that this procedure will be in place through April 3rd. Bloomsburg University has extended students' spring break by one week. Bucknell University announced it's moving to remote education mode. East Stroudsburg University announced it will delay students' return from spring break until March 23rd. Kutztown University is suspending classes and closing residence halls through March 21st. And the University of Scranton will cease face-to-face -face instruction and move classes remotely beginning Monday, March 30th. Classes will continue on campus as scheduled till March 13th. Now for more information on these schools or your college or university, visit the school's website. The Fritzinger Town Senior Living Community in Drums is taking proactive measures because of coronavirus. Executive Director Paula Hahn tells us they're implementing a temporary voluntary visitation restriction. The hours for visiting are 11 a.m. until noon and 5.30 till 6.30 p.m. Visitors are asked to check in with the receptionist first and answer a few questions. Han said they love their residents and because they are the most vulnerable population, they're looking to be very precautious. She assures families all residents' needs will be met. She said if you do not need to visit at any facilities, don't. We have shared the policy on our Facebook page. Meanwhile, a summit will take place tomorrow in Wilkes-Barre to discuss the area's readiness for dealing with the coronavirus. Health care and municipal leaders, including Hazelton Mayor Jeff Cassatt, will take part in this special gathering that will focus on the readiness in dealing with COVID-19. It's being hosted by the All One Foundation, a nonprofit organization that serves 13 counties. This forum is not open to the public. Well, turning to other news tonight, they have the process down to a science. Tractor trailers filled with fitness equipment rolled into the Laurel Mall parking lot today. Mall property manager Rocco Aruzzo was there to greet the delivery for the mall's newest anchor. Today, Planet Fitness arrived with five or six tractor trailers. They're bringing all their equipment, assembling it, as you can see in the parking lot, and they're bringing it inside and starting to put it in place. And they will be open for soft opening on March 17th. How many people have signed up so far for Planet Fitness? So far, what we heard this morning when uh, Lisa, our general manager, and myself were inside, the uh, head of construction told us they have close to 3,000 signed up. How happy are you to have this going up so quickly here at the Laurel Mall? We are very happy, Tim, because, you know, they've been waiting. We have been looking at Planet Fitness for about three years, and they wanted to come to the Laurel Mall. We finally had the space for them. Uh, so we're glad that they're here. I think they're going to be a, a good, uh, something good for the community and also for the Laurel Mall. How impressed on how fast this is all going together are you? We are very impressed because they, they just started a few months ago and they said they would be ready by the end of March and sure enough they, they hit their deadline. So we're happy, we're happy that they're going to be open and uh, hey, all come out and let's join. Memberships are still being sold in the former Payless Shoe Store. A soft opening takes place March 17th. The grand opening is set for March 31st. Meanwhile, Rocco Aruzzo also tells us that another new store will soon be opening in the mall. 
Christopher and Banks, the women's clothing store, is scheduled to open on April 24th. Stay tuned for more details. Time now for weather on SSPTV News. Well, it was a beautiful day in downtown Hazleton area today. Let's see if it will continue. Here's the latest forecast from the National Weather Service. Tonight, mostly cloudy, a low around 35 degrees. Tomorrow, a chance of sprinkles after four, otherwise partly sunny, high up near 50 degrees. Thursday night, a chance of showers with temperatures dipping down to 42. On Friday, more showers, mainly before 2 o'clock in the afternoon, high near 56. Friday night, partly cloudy skies are low around 30. Sunshine on Saturday, a high near 45 degrees. Saturday night, mostly cloudy with a low around 29. And then a partly sunny Sunday with a high up near 41 degrees, a little cooler. Partly cloudy Sunday night, low getting down to 27. The sunshine continues Monday as we head back to work with a high near 42. Then there is a chance of showers at night with a low around 35 degrees. Time now for our SSPTV Standard Speaker Scoreboard. Last night was action-packed with basketball across the state of Pennsylvania as the PIAA State Basketball Playoffs continued, and it was a big night for two teams in our viewing area. The Tamaqua Boys basketball team continues to stay red hot. Last night, the Blue Raiders knocked off Susquehanna Township 72-58. Braden Knobloch scored a game-high 24 points. Lucas Gregoire added 20. Up next, Tamaqua will play in the state quarterfinals against District 1 champs Pope John Paul II. That game will be Friday night at a time and place still to be determined. Also last night, the Monoy area girls advanced to the state quarterfinals. The Lady Bears used a big second quarter to dominate Sacred Heart on the way to a 54-37 victory. Next up, Mahanai area will play Friday night against Leiden Hall, the District 3 champs. And while two of our teams locally advanced, one team saw their season end. The North Schuylkill girls lost to state power DeLone Catholic. The Lady Spartan season ends with a 22-6 record and a District 11 championship. Still ahead tonight, our John Eric Poli shows us why they were pedaling over the weekend in Pittston. And our Ron Marchetti is up with this week's edition of Short Shots. Good evening, everyone. Here's today's Talk of the Town. The VFW Auxiliary Post 8161 will be having an all-you-can-eat breakfast this Sunday from 7 a.m. until 12 noon. Tickets will be $8 for adults and $4 for children under 10. This event is open to the public. And that's today's Talk of the Town. SB TV News would like to send sincere condolences to the family and friends of these recently departed. Colleen G. Caputo, age 65, of Hazleton. The Joseph B. Conahan Funeral Home will announce their arrangements. Andrew Joseph Katoski, age 30, of Weatherly. Services will be private under the McHugh Wilczek Funeral Home. Michelle Mainetti, age 70, of Hazel Township. Mass be Friday at 10 a.m. at Queen of Heaven Parish at Our Lady of Grace Church. The John J. Pustai Funeral Home is in charge of arrangements. Robert Bob Tyrone, age 88, formerly of Hazleton. Donations can be made to Eckley Miners Village. Doyle Wagner Jr., age 64, of St. John's. Services will be held at the convenience of the family under the McNulty Funeral Home. All of Jean Yanis, age 87, formerly of Nuremberg, who passed away on January 24th. A celebration of life will be held in June. The Hartman Funeral Home in Rock Glen is assisting the family. And Evelyn E. Zerden, age 74, of Hazleton. The Frank J. Bonham Funeral Home will announce their arrangements. Today's social and obituary report is brought to you by Harmon Funeral Homes and Crematory. Call 570-788-0977 or go to harmonfuneral.com.